Hey everybody, another quick video in today's Reinhardt's Rundown focusing on the elimination half-life of a drug. If you haven't seen our previous video on half-lives, we'll drop a link here in the show notes. Go ahead and check it out. Remember the definition of half-life is our first quick reminder here. So a drug's half-life, or the T1 half, is the time it takes for the concentration of a drug in the blood plasma to reduce to half the original value. So if a drug has a half-life of about three hours, then three hours after administration, half the dose has been eliminated from the blood. After another three hours, an additional 50% has been eliminated and so forth. After five half-lives, remember that 97% of the drug has now been eliminated from the blood. The half-life of a medication can also help us determine how often a medication might need to be dosed and how long the effects of a drug might be seen. Let's look at another example. Lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor. We use it for hypertension, heart failure. It's really one of the most common medications prescribed. It's also used in diabetic patients for nephroprotection, lots of different uses. Now, lisinopril has a half-life of about 12 and a half hours. Captopril, one of the earlier ACE inhibitors ever made, has a half-life of only about two hours. Let's say our patient's taking their blood pressure med at 7 a.m. We can see by 7 p.m. we still have uh, about half the dose of lisinopril, whereas captopril has been 98% eliminated. So it makes sense that we could dose lisinopril once a day, whereas captopril must be dosed more like three times a day to ensure that we can maintain high enough blood levels to actually control that blood pressure. That's today's Reinhardt's Rundown on Half-Lives. We'll see you for our next video.